What's up guys, Tao here. Uh, welcome to my second experiment video uh, of the new iOS. Now this time I'll be uh, experimenting with the iPad OS with this 2018 iPad Pro. Um, I actually have done one video uh, before, uh, a while ago, with the uh, iPhone, with the iOS 13. So if you haven't seen it yet, please head to uh, the video. I will leave the link somewhere on the screen. Um, in that video, there were some devices did not work. So hopefully today I will have better luck with those devices. So let's start it. All right, first of all, let's try the USB stick. Now this was one of the devices needs uh, a bit more power on the iPhone. Um, I had to use the external power supply. Now we're gonna see if this one works without any external power supply. It's right there. So actually it recognized. So which means it doesn't need any external power supply. So it worked. Now the second device is it didn't work. It was the um, hard drive, external hard drive. So here I have a one terabyte CG drive. Let's see um, if it works. Now there's no other power supply or use the adapter here. Let's see if this works. Oh, the light is on. So, oh, okay. So it worked. Now the Seagate one terabyte here. So yes, it did work. Uh, create a folder called a test. Yeah, so um, it worked. Now let's try this USB hub. Um, this was also one of the things I needed too much power. I had to use the external power source. Now see if this works. Okay. Uh, light is on. Now let's plug in. You know what? Let's plug in this drive. The light is on. Oh, a recognized. There we go. So this USB hub works together with the external drive and it works. Okay, now let's try this two and a half inch drive uh, with the SATA to USB 3 adapter. Now I do expect this will work because the external uh, USB drive worked, so this should not make any difference whatsoever, but let's just try. And yeah, the light is flashing, which means Toshiba, yep, a recognized. Uh, let's just create a folder, again called a test. Um, yep, so it worked. Now, Let's try this uh, USB-C multiple adapter. Uh, here I have Ethernet, two USB-3s, HDMI, and the X, uh, another USB-3 for charging. Uh, let's just try this, if this works. Okay, now let's plug in something. Uh, okay, the light is on. Okay, I recognized it. Cool. So that's working. And now, here is the main event. Uh, you, as you probably can see now, I have a DVD drive here, as DVD RW, which is rewritable. Now, I'm very, very excited to see if DVD drive works. Honestly, I do not expect it will work because I don't think there's any application or apps um, can read it. Um, it worked differently from the USB stick, but you know, uh, but then again, I have a hope. I'll be very, very surprised if this thing works. Oh. Okay, opens. Now here I have prepared there are some files on this CD. 
Um, yeah, so I prepared early on. So I haven't actually tried this yet on the iPad. Now, let's see. It's spinning. It's spinning. Well, same thing is spinning, but the file app does not. Oh, okay, now it stopped. So um, maybe needs more power. Right, here I have a extra power brick. It's got a power delivery and a um, USB normal plug as well. So the Type C actually deliver thirty watts of um, juice. So now let's see. Now let's see if this thing works. Okay. It's charging the iPad. And I should have more than enough power. Well, I don't think it will recognize it. It's a shame. It will be awesome if iPads or iPad OS can recognize DVDs or CDs. Imagine that. Since we're here, we're plugged in. Let's try... Uh, let's try this. Now, here I have a screen. And uh, this Type-C adapter has HDMI port. Now, let me... Connect this to the HDMI port. And, and then change the input, HDMI. I do expect this will work because there's no reason it won't work. Maybe. Oh, all right. I uh, didn't plug in properly. <laughs> okay, now you can see there are two black bars on each side. Now this is due to the limitation of the um, the system, which is the iPad OS. It can't recognize the full 16 by 9 ratio yet. Hopefully, in the future, iPad OS update or the iOS update will solve this solve this issue. Um, that'd be awesome if they can take advantage of the whole ratio. But so far, for now. We're gonna have to do with this. Next, let's try this PS4 controller. Now I know uh, a lot of apps or a lot of games in the Apple Arcade, it will support um, controllers. Uh, let me show you one of them. Controllers? Okay, here we go. So if you see uh, the game support controllers, that means you can use the Xbox or PS4 controllers to control them. I personally haven't tried it yet. I'm not subscribing for the arcade. I don't think there are a lot of good games out there. Uh, maybe in the near future, I will give a go. But for now, um, I'm not gonna do that. But today I'll be showing you how you connect the PS4 controller uh, to the iPad OS. This also apply to iOS as well. So what you need to do is you press share and select the PS button in the middle at the same time until the light is flashing rapidly like that and then you turn down Bluetooth and go into oh, not Ethernet, go into Bluetooth. You can see a DualShock PS4 controller right there and you tap on that and voila um, it doesn't really do anything just within the normal iPad OS now while we connected let me just open a app uh, okay Call of Duty now let's see if this thing works with the PS4 controller 
It doesn't do anything. Yeah. So, joystick doesn't work. Yeah, none of them works. So, it really, really, the controller is designed for this game to take advantage of the controller. So, for example, the uh, Apple Arcade. So, yeah. But so far, this one doesn't work with the normal games. All right, while we're in the game, I'm gonna connect the mouse and the keyboard to the iPad. Now, let's see if the keyboard works. Um, if this works, that will be fantastic. So you don't really need a console anymore. Um, huh? Well, for a lot of people, they want to play on the go. This probably is a very, very good idea. If it works. Okay, let me just enable the assistive touch. So now the mouse works. Uh, let me okay so as you can see the mouse is working and the keyboard I'm not sure if the keyboard works uh, it doesn't do anything all right let's let's just try it oh okay so without pressing the button you can't really aim, you can't really move. Keyboard it doesn't really um, work. You have to, in terms of mouth, you have to keep and hold the, the, the left button to move about. Uh, come on, you die, die, die. Oh my God, so bad. Oh, maybe you can, oh, here we go. So yeah, every time you wanna move, if you wanna focus, you have to press the, the left button. If you wanna go, forward move about you're gonna have to use the the touch control on the ipad i guess you could uh, you could get used to it but to me it's quite tricky uh, imagine those controls you have to uh, keep and hold it and then it will work otherwise the aim it won't follow the mouse it won't follow the cursor um, you're just gonna have to remember that it's a little bit tricky but keyboard the game is not taking advantage of the keyboard at all uh, mouse kind of work you're gonna have to get used to it um, I don't know how quick quick you can get used to it for me is it's a bit weird. Okay, next up is the Ethernet. Uh, here I have an Ethernet. This adapter has Ethernet here. Uh, now let me just switch off the uh, switch off the Wi-Fi completely. Mm. Okay, you can see it's off. Here's an Ethernet option there. That means the iPad OS recognized adapter, recognized Ethernet. It says Geek Ethernet. Now let's open a browser. You can see there's no connections. Now if I plug in, now I know this will work because it worked in the iOS 13 on the phone. So yeah, here we go. I do expect fully working if you do have a large file to transfer or to download ethernet is the better option uh, in my opinion there's one more other connection in terms of the network so it is smb uh, you can see here i have a um, smb connection already it's linked to my main workstation and these are all the folders there uh, you can see here i have a, right now all those clips is on my workstation it's using the Ethernet yeah so this is working so you can see the keyboard is also work within the iPad OS and just not working in game now since everything uh, working right now I will connect everything including this hub to this hub see if it works 
and uh, let me unplug the mouse and plug this in so I think this will work um, because I have enough power coming through it's still charging and let me, uh, yeah it works a keyboard I have a plug in here and now let me plug in this drive Yep, the light is on. Uh, we recognize it. Uh, yep, I recognize it. And also this driver as well. Okay, we recognize it. Yep, we recognize as well. And this USB stick. Okay, we recognize it. Oh dear, everything's recognized. Excellent. This is awesome. All right guys, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. It's a real shame the DVD drive didn't work and also the keyboard mouse in game didn't work and the PS4 controller didn't work. However, I really, really hope that the game developers are gonna take the advantage of the um, controllers in most of the games or especially COD. I personally quite like that game and also will take advantage of the uh, mouse and keyboard now if you guys did enjoy the video please uh, click on that like and share with others and hopefully others will get benefit out of it so see you guys in the next video check this out guys right now I'm using one USB hub with a single wire connect to the iPad which is use type C there's no external power supply whatsoever. I am connected to one, two, three. Three external HDD and a USB stick. And guess what? They are all recognized. Now this is ridiculous.